What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinProtect.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. And this video, we're actually gonna do a few things. Uh, the last video, we unboxed the Raspberry Pi 4 with all its peripherals. I got the official mouse and keyboard with the official power supply. I got a uh, micro HDMI cable and everything is ready to go. In this video, we're gonna download Raspbian and burn it on our micro SD card, set it up, connect all the peripherals, power it up, and test it out to see how snappy it actually is because I got the four gigabyte version, so it should be a lot snappier. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. All right, so now we're gonna put together everything. We got the Raspberry Pi right here, and we got everything we need to get this thing to start running. So the first thing I want to do is plug in my mouse. I got this cool official Raspberry Pi mouse. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description. So I'm gonna plug it into one of my USB ports right here. Mouse is plugged in. Now let's plug in the keyboard. Again, the keyboard is also a official Raspberry Pi keyboard. It's got that white and red color scheme, really cool. Plug it in. I'm gonna plug it in the USB 2.0 because we don't need to plug it in to USB 3.0. All right, so the next up is going to be, if you got a network, plug in your network jack or Wi-Fi or whatever you guys got. That's plugged in. Let's just clean this up a bit. Now we got, see this cable right here? This is the micro HDMI to regular HDMI because the Raspberry Pi has two micro HDMI ports where you can use, use up to two monitors. So it's pretty cool. Plug it into this one. All right, plug that into our monitor. Uh, the final step is actually plug in the power. All right, so the new port on the Raspberry Pi is the USB Type-C. This is the port that gets the power and we're going to plug it in. Then plug this into the wall outlet. Now we're good to go. All right guys, so now we're ready to install Raspbian. What is Raspbian? It's basically the operating system that gets installed on your Raspberry Pi. It's basically a lightweight version of Linux. So it's pretty cool. How do we get this operating system onto our Raspberry Pi? You're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a micro SD card and a micro SD card reader. So once you got those two things, we can start installing some software and I'm gonna open up the software right now. We're going to need a uh, WinRAR or WinZip. It's a program that unzips things and, and compresses them. The, the file we're going to download is a zip file. So download WinRAR. Once you finish downloading WinRAR, this is the link by the way. I'm gonna leave a link to everything in the description. Once you download it, install it. Now we're gonna move on to this right here. This is Win32 Disk Imager. And what this does is basically, once we download the image and, and we have the SD card, the micro SD card installed to our computer or our micro SD card reader, then we're gonna burn that image using Win32 Disk Imager. So just download it. Once you finish downloading it, uh, open it up. Now we're gonna move on to this part here. So this is Raspbian. This is the official Raspberry Pi website. Again, Raspbian is the operating system that gets installed on your Raspberry Pi. It's a lighter version of Linux. So this is the download page here. You're gonna see a few things. Do not download the Raspbian Buster Lite or any light version of Raspbian at all because it does not have a graphical user interface. So right now, Buster is the new, the new flavor of Raspbian. Every so often they'll download a new flavor or uh, update their Raspbian operating system and call it something else. But it's Raspbian and another name. So right now it's Buster. If you're watching this in the future, it might be called something else. Just download the version that you want to download. So I recommend downloading one of these two versions here. And uh, the first one is basically, uh, it's the operating system, but with some added software. I would rather download the second one. It's a lot easier. It's a smaller file to download. It's the operating system, but without the added software. So to download it, click on download zip, right? Now it's downloading. Once it's finished downloading, we're gonna move on to the next step. Now, once it's finished downloading, your program with uh, the, whichever program you decided to, to download and install, this program is what's going to unzip the file we just downloaded. I, I'm using WinRAR, you can use WinZip, doesn't matter, it's a zip file. So you're gonna need to extract this image here to somewhere. I created a folder in the desktop. Let's just look for that folder, desktop, well, where is it? So I created a folder on my desktop, I called my folder Raspbian. So it's right here, I'm gonna install mine there. I already have a file, so I'm just gonna click on yes to all. It's gonna overwrite it. So it's gonna take like a minute or two to extract. Once it's finished extracting, you're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so now it's finished extracting. So we're gonna minimize everything. Now we're gonna open up the software we just downloaded and installed. 
it's the win32 disk imager software once you uh load it up it's gonna look something like this the first thing we're gonna need to do is make sure that your micro sd card is connected to your micro sd card reader then select your the right device mine says g and uh, once you finish click on this folder icon and navigate to wherever you extracted that image file of raspian mine is in a desktop and the folder that i created is called raspian and this is the file uh, raspian buster image yours could be called something different as long as it's a dot img click on open now we're going to click on write click on yes so basically what it's doing now it's writing that image onto our micro sd card once it's finished our image is going to be ready to connect to our Raspberry Pi. Once this is finished, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is it right here. Raspbian has loaded and I'm able to capture the screen. The way I'm able to capture the screen is using a uh, device. It's called the AV.io 4K capture device. Now, AV.io was kind enough to send me this for review and I'm really grateful. It's an awesome device. I've used it so many different times in so many different videos and I'm able to capture 4K60 using that device. It captures anything with a HDMI cable and uh, it captures up to 4K60 and I'll re record anything under that basically. But yeah, this is the Raspbian and this is 4K by the way. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 is able to uh, output at 4K and this is 4K60 so I'm capturing 4K60 and it's really cool. I'm using the Raspberry Pi mouse the official Raspberry Pi mouse and the official Raspberry Pi keyboard right now, if you guys can see. I did a video when I unboxed the Raspberry Pi 4. I also unboxed the keyboard and the mouse and the official power supply. So if you guys want to check that, if you guys want to learn more about these devices, uh, watch that video I just did. It's called the Raspberry Pi 4 unboxing. But but let's just test this out. So this is it. It's, it's really snappy. Now, for, for the past like I don't know five six years since the Raspberry Pi first came out it, it's only had one gigabyte of RAM that's the biggest limitation when it came to the Raspberry Pi it's it's one gigabyte of RAM but now uh, that they have a four gigabyte version and this is the four gigabyte version by the way it's really snappy like I, I've never uh, I've never experienced a Raspberry Pi I've never had a Raspberry Pi experience like this before it's really cool but let's see, I could open up pretty much anything quickly. And that's the way it should be, basically. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you it loaded and uh, showed you how it looks when it first loads up and stuff like that. It's really cool. I, I'm impressed. I'm, in, I'm impressed in how snappy this thing is. And I'm going to do more videos using the Raspberry Pi 4. If you guys like this video, please continue watching or subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com, and thank you guys for watching.